hello guys today i will show you how to make a preloader animation which will look like this we can use it in any kind of document loading or you can say web page loading okay so now i am going to use only html and css code for it i am not going to use any kind of javascript code and here I'm coding in a text editor called Sublime Text Editor. You can choose your text editor like you can choose Notepad++ or you can say brackets for it. But it is very nice and easy to use. So I'm using this. Okay, let's start. First of all, it is a basic skeleton for the HTML. And now I'm now I'm giving the title. You can give it any title, whatever you want. So I'm giving it a title, say preloader. Now we have to link the CSS file which we have made or which we are going to make to this HTML. So we are linking it because it is a style set. We are we will write style set here and we are referencing it as its name here our name is one to underscore u dot css and closing the tag now in the body tag we are going to make we are going to write the main html code which for which we are going to implement the css okay so i am writing a div tag and closing the duty and i'm going to give it id say loader okay now that's it for this html file now i'm going to write the css code for it okay now you can see that we have made a id is called loader so we have to write as text before the loader okay so in the loader we are giving its a weight of 100, 100 pixel and height of 100 pixels now this will create a square of 100 by 100 pixels okay you got it then i'm giving it background color background color of mm, white okay now i am giving it margin okay because we don't want this animation to take place at the top of the web page of okay you can understand that we probably want this animation in the center of the page so we are taking it 250 pixels from top and from the bottom and auto from the left and the right okay now we are giving it border radius because we want a circle not we are not one we don't want a, any kind of square line or rectangle we want this circle so we are taking the border radius 100 percent now creating the border mm, suppose we are creating border for 15 pixels solid and the of color you can say light blue mm, okay now for the animation to take this we have to set the border top mm, to 15 pixels solid and say color red okay now for animation we have to first first of all we have to write the animation name we are saying it's spin it will last for two seconds and the animation timing function is linear and it will fall in finite time it will not stop after some time okay it will last for infinite now i'm going to write the animation code for keyframes the name of the animation is spin so first of all at at zero percent at the starting of the animation the rotation is zero degree 
Okay. It's a quite simple thing you can say. Now, at 100%, we want the animation to rotate 360 degree. Okay. Mm, okay, that's it for the CSS file. Mm, now I'm going to. Okay, first of all, save it and open this in the browser. Okay, now you can see that we have a nice animation effect here. Okay. Mm, yeah, we should probably write mm, gray color for it. It will suit more. Yeah. Then I'm already opening in the browser. Mm, you can see, yes, it's nice animation effect. Once the document is loading, this rotation will take place until the until the document is loading. Okay. So now let's uh, add some other things to it. We are copying and pasting it for four times. Mm, now let's say for border bottom, mm, we are putting you can say green color or anything you want and here purple color and here yellow. Okay, now border bottom top this for left and this is for right now save this and reopen this in the browser and you can see that there is a four color four colors in the loading animation okay i hope you can understand this and that's it for this video okay you can see a nice animation effect Thank you guys for watching this video please like subscribe and if you have any doubts about this animation please comment down below okay thank you